Hello, I'm Elric Ferris, and welcome back once again to the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, there's been a new launch. This one is by NVIDIA. This is the new GTX 550 Ti series card. This card's going to hit the market with a gigabyte of DDR5 memory and both a matching 192-bit memory interface and 192-bit CUDA cores. Today, we're going to take a look at MSI's version, the N550 GTX-TI Cyclone 2 version. The Cyclone 2 features superior cooling, and this card actually comes overclocked out of the box. This standard core on the new 550 is coming in at 900 megahertz. This one's overclocked to 975 megahertz. But for now, let's check out what comes inside the box. Start off by opening the sides up, pulling little tabs off here. Go ahead and we'll pull the box out. You can see right there, it's got the card in there. It's all nice and packaged. This one actually is probably a pre-release version. I don't know if it contains all the stuff that the normal box would get, but we tried to get it in time for you guys on launch day. And so there's nothing inside the foam there. But at the bottom there is. So let's just go ahead and get this all out of the box. Start off by taking a look at the stuff. First off, we get the N550 GTX Ti. That's the little user's guide. Then we're going to have the quick user's guide. We have the driver CD. We have the HDMI to mini HDMI. We have the DVI to standard VGA. And then we have a dual Molex to single six pin power connector. This card does not require very much power at all. I believe the total TDP on this card is actually only 116 watts. So now we're going to go ahead, I'll move this out of the way real quick and we can just take a look at the card. We can see right off the bat that the Cyclone has much different cooling than any other reference card. The reference cards just have a standard little stock cooler that comes across the front. This one is completely redesigned, much bigger heat fins, much nicer fan. This is going to really help dissipate the heat away from the card. There's also only a single power supply thing here. So you only need 75 watts from this and basically 75 watts from your PCI bridge, which is basically about 150. They say it takes less, but that's really about what it is. Take a look at the card, flip it around, let you guys take a look at the back. And so for the rear I.O., you have both two DVIs and a mini HDMI port, hence that little adapter we took a look at earlier. So basically I'm going to set the card back down here. I'll set it all the stuff just once again. So when we close up the video, you guys can see everything comes inside of it. Once again, this was the unboxing of the MSI N550 GTX Ti. And that's everything right here that comes in the box. Stay forward for the full review later today.